I am Dr. S. K. Wangnu, working as senior consultant endocrinologist and diabetologist at Indrapas Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. Today we are going to talk about the diabetes, what it is called, what are the different types of diabetes, what are the main symptoms, how it leads to the various diabetes related complications and how we can detect and treat the complications. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a metabolic disorder where body is insulin, which is important to control blood sugar, is either being produced in very less quantity or it is not being produced at all. And because of that, the body's blood sugar tend to rise. So in short terms, in layman terms, the diabetes is a state of high sugar because of the inadequate action of insulin. What are the different types of diabetes? So in simple layman terms, there are two main type of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is where the body's insulin production is absolutely nil. That means pancreas is not producing insulin at all. While in type 2 diabetes, the insulin production is less in inadequate amount and whatever insulin is being produced, it is not acting properly and that is called type 2 diabetes. Apart from these two main types of diabetes, there is a third important category of diabetes, what we call gestational diabetes, which occurs during pregnancy. So, these are the three main types of diabetes. What are the risk factors for diabetes? The commonest risk factor for the diabetes is a strong family history of diabetes. For example, if your, both the parents are having diabetes, there are 50% of chances of you being getting diabetes in near future. If one of the parent is diabetic, then you have roughly around 20 to 25 percent chances of getting diabetes. Even none of your parents have diabetes, there are still some chances of getting diabetes up to the tune of 10 to 15 percent. So this is the biggest risk. The second biggest risk is the obesity. If your body mass index is more than 25, then you are prone to develop insulin resistance which ultimately leads to the development of diabetes. And third, the most important is consumption of high carbohydrate meal and leading a very sedentary lifestyle. So these are the important risk factors for the development of diabetes in the near future. So let's see what causes diabetes. There are different reasons why the patient get diabetes. It is because of the, some of the genetic predisposition and due to some environmental insult, the body immune system gets triggered, which leads to the development of antibodies, which destroy the pancreas, that is called the type 1 diabetes. In another cases, where the patient is again more prone to develop diabetes, what there is a what you call the insulin resistance. Body insulin is being produced, but its action is not proper. So the pancreas tend to produce more insulin and this is called hyperinsulinemia or the insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is the main denominator for the future development of diabetes. What are the symptoms of diabetes? Normally, if I say for the layman, 90% of the type 2 diabetes, they remain asymptomatic. But the common symptom by which the patient presents to us is the frequent urination, increased thirst, unexplained weight loss despite a good appetite, unexplained weakness, lethargy, tiredness, some kinds of genital infections, if you have some cuts, it's not being healing properly. So these are the, some of the common symptoms of diabetes. What are the complications of diabetes? Diabetes 
is such a disease which affect each and every organ system of the body. We start from the brain, it may cause the brain attack or the strokes. We start then comes to the eyes, it is one of the important and the major cause of the adult blindness and it causes retinopathy. Then we comes to the heart, the diabetes is the major cause of the heart attacks and the coronary artery disease and more than 80 percent of the patient die because of the heart disease. Then we come to the kidneys, the major cause of the end stage renal disease and dialysis is diabetes. Then we comes to the nerves which control our movements, sensation and you will be surprised to know that major cause of the lower limb amputation is diabetes. How is diabetes diagnosed? Simple thing, get your fasting blood sugar done. If your fasting blood sugar is more than 126, then you classify as a patient of diabetes. Or in certain cases, we do a oral glucose tolerance test, where you do a fasting blood sugar, then we give the patient a 75 gram of glucose load and do another sample at 2 hours after the glucose load. If the 2 hours after the glucose load is more than 200 milligram per DL, then the patient is said to be having diabetes. How is diabetes treated? The three main pillars of the diabetes treatment are diet, exercise, medicines and insulin. I think we discuss a little bit about the exercise and diet, the various kinds of medicines available in our country, the different classes of drug which has been classified as sulfonylurea, biogonides, TPP4 inhibitor, SGLD2 inhibitor, GLP1 receptor agonist, glucose, glucosidase inhibitor, these different classes of drugs which are available. And the third important is when the drugs fail to control the blood sugar then the patient has to be on insulin, then there are various types of insulin, you have to take a single shot of insulin, what you call the base of insulin, then somebody is being prescribed two shots of insulin, what you call the premix insulin, some patient has to be given multiple shots of insulin, what you call the multiple daily insulin injection, one base of insulin and two to three shots of the short acting insulin. Anybody who has got some symptoms of the diabetes, he should go nearby to a specialist who deals with the treatment of diabetes to check whether you are having diabetes or not. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. Namaste.